Hey, if you have pain in your feet or if you have poor balance, then today I want to show you how I fix my feet. And this is really important because there's three reasons why people often have feet that don't feel all that good. Reason number one is we lose our flexibility, especially the flexibility between the toes that allows us to grip the ground with our toes and create better balance. Reason number two is we lose our mind-muscle connection with the muscles of the arches of the feet and the ones that operate the toes, which again, reduces our balance and reduces the strength of our feet. And reason number three is we don't have the proper function and coordination of the feet, which completely ruins our chances of balancing and can end up causing us pain when we're sitting to standing or walking or doing normal things in our daily life. And today, I'm gonna show you how to go through all three of those and fix each and every one of those. So let's get started. Okay, the first step in how to fix your feet is to recover the flexibility of your toes. Before I get there, let me ask you a quick question. What do you think is gonna feel more stable and have better balance? This base of support right here or this base of support right here? Well, obviously the answer is this one. And the reason why is because if we draw a line down the middle, we see we have more space between these two dots giving us better lateral stability than this right here where there's not a lot of space between those two dots. And yet, this is what happens to your feet when you put them in tight shoes a lot. In fact, what ends up happening is our toes start to layer on top of each other like this. We end up with things like bunions or other types of foot pain that can cause all kinds of issues with the feet. We lose our lateral flexibility and all of a sudden, we wonder why our knee joint's unstable, our hip's unstable, or our lower back is also unstable. So what we need to do is create more flexibility in the feet, allowing the toes to spread out and create a wider base of support. So here's how to do that. Each night, as you're watching your favorite show or you're sitting there and you're scrolling through social media, take your leg and cross it over the other leg like this. Then take your fingers on one side of your hand and put them in between each toe. So starting between the big toe, going between the next toe, the next toe, and the next toe. And each time, we're trying to create as much flexibility side to side through these toes as possible. Now you can hold that position for at least a minute while we create that flexibility in our feet. For bonus points, you can even go get some toe spacers that you would get after getting a pedicure, and you could wear those at night on both feet for 30 or so minutes to help create some space inside the feet again. Now once you're able to then spread your toes out by actually opening your feet, then you'll know you've created the flexibility to go on to the next step where we're gonna start waking those muscles up and activating your foot again. Okay, once you've recovered the flexibility of your toes and you've increased the width of your base of support, next it's time to activate the muscles of your toes and arches to give you better shock absorbers as feet and start to wake them up so you can improve your balance and coordination as well. So let me ask you this question real quick. Which one of these do you think would be a better shock absorber, especially if your impact is coming at this point right here? Well, obviously the one with a little bit of curvature allows this to give some play in the foot, which creates shock absorption, whereas this one has no play in the foot. Now this is really important because if we have flat feet and weak arches and we go outside and we go for a walk or we jump or we run or we do anything like that, the impact has to go somewhere. And so it will go into your knees, your hips, your lower back and the rest of your spine. So what we want is we want a nice strong arch and strong toes to help soften the impact from things that we do in our daily life. And here's my favorite drill to reawaken those muscles and activate the foot again so that you can start to use it in the way it was meant to be used. And this one again, you can do at night while watching your favorite show. What you're gonna do is use a piece of paper for some actual feedback to show you that you're doing it right. And what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna place your foot on the piece of paper, heel first, and then you're gonna spread the toes out using that new flexibility we have. Then the big toe side of the foot comes down and then we're gonna squeeze the paper with our toes and try to create a crinkle on the paper right here, okay? So once you've created that crinkle, then we're gonna relax. We're gonna open the toes up. We're gonna place the big toe side down on the ball of the foot. Then we're gonna squeeze the paper with the toes and create a nice crinkle of the paper again. So each time we do this, we're just gonna hold for a second, then we're gonna release, and we're gonna start getting really good at creating this arch connection along with squeezing the toes over and over again. Now practice this for at least one minute on this side and then one minute on the opposite side. You can practice this for several rounds as well to really start waking up the muscles of your feet. Then as you walk around your house, you can start to think about what this might feel like if you're taking a step, 
gripping ground on your toes and squeezing your arches. So you can start to integrate it into your daily movement. Now, once you've reawakened these muscles and you can really feel those arches activate, and you have better control over your toes, now let's get you into a position that allows you to test the balance and coordination of your feet, further strengthening those muscles and making your feet feel good again. Hey, real quick, if you have flat feet and you're thinking to yourself, this is never gonna work for me, I have flat feet, then know that doing these drills can improve the strength of your toes and your arches. You might not ever have a gigantic arch, but even improving that arch just a little bit and strengthening those muscles can help you take more impact through the feet and less impact through the knees, hips, and lower back. Okay, once you've gotten your flexibility back and you've reactivated the muscles of your toes and your arches, it's time to put those two things into practice by actually reactivating the coordination of your feet, okay? So we're gonna do this by doing a simple single leg balance drill and using your hand for support with the goal of eventually being able to stand on one foot with good balance with an active foot for one minute on each side. So here's how it looks. You're gonna start by putting your foot on the ground the same way we just did before, spreading the toes and squeezing the ground with the toes. Once you've got your foot active, now what we wanna do is we wanna center our body over that foot. That means that our belly button is over our heel and our nose is over our belly button. Now, once we find found that good alignment, we use our fingertips on the chair or the wall for support, starting with five fingertips. And the goal is, can we hold this position for 60 seconds on the left side and then slowly come down, reactivate the right foot, center yourself over that foot, nose over belly button, over heel, and hold it again for 60 seconds on the right leg. Now, if you can do this with all five fingertips on a chair, the next step is just to lift your thumb and go to four fingertips. Again, working your way up to 60 seconds. Then going to three fingertips, then to two, then to one, and finally being able to do this balance drill for a full 60 seconds without using anything for support that your hands are leaning on. Once you're able to do this, you'll know that you've fixed your feet, you've gained the flexibility needed, you've reactivated those muscles, and now you have the coordination you need for your feet to be doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is creating better balance and coordination through your lower body, absorbing shock from walking, running, and making your whole body feel a whole lot better. All right, now that you learned how to fix your feet, it's time to fix your knees. If that's you, watch this video right here. Otherwise, if you want a workout that teaches you how to activate your muscles, strengthen your muscles, and create more flexibility and range of motion, well, that's what we do at WeShape. We teach you how to move your body better so you can feel better in your body. Try one of our workouts out for free by clicking the link below.